So what is the best stabilizer to use when embroidering onto clothing? Well, the answer is really a two part one. The first part is about the stabilizer itself. And the second part, well, it's about what you can use to prevent that design from scratching up next to someone's skin, such as what would happen with a t-shirt or a baby item. My rule of thumb for choosing the best stabilizer is this. If you wear it, don't tear it. Of course, meaning that if you need your item to stand up to normal wash and wear, like you do when embroidering onto clothing, then you don't want to use a tearaway stabilizer. It's much better to use a cutaway stabilizer that will support your stitches for years of wearing and washing. A medium or heavy cutaway would work really well. If it's a low stitch count, then certainly using a light mesh cutaway stabilizer would be sufficient. So now you may be asking, well, is there anything I can do to prevent the back of the stitches and stabilizer from scratching up against the skin of those who are wearing it? Well, this is especially true for babies. With their skins being so soft and delicate, we recommend fusing an additional product we call Silky Soft Fusible Backing. This is ideal for soft and sensitive skin, so you can see why I highly recommend it, especially on clothing for babies and children. Here's how you apply our Silky Soft Fusible Backing. After you've finished stitching your design using a cutaway stabilizer, trim away the extra stabilizer around the design. After that, you'll cut a piece of the Silky Soft Backing a little larger than the design itself. With steam, fuse the backing on top of your stabilizer and hold for about 10 seconds. You can check if it's truly fused by letting it cool for a few seconds and then lifting the corner. If it is fused correctly, of course, it's gonna stay in place. And if it lifts, well, just add a few seconds to your heating time. Your item can be laundered as normal. If after numerous washes, you see that the fusible backing is lifting a little at each corner, no problem, simply fuse it again. Now, here's one more tip. If you are stitching a heavy design onto a knit fabric, such as a t-shirt, I would recommend also using Kimberbell's fusible backing before stitching. You would simply fuse the permanent fusible backing onto the back of the knit, add your layer of cutaway stabilizer behind that, stitch your design, and finally fuse a layer of the silky soft fusible backing at the end. Visit Kimberbell.com for more tips on using Kimberbell's specialty line of stabilizers.